I, I want to try to give my best in anything that I do in this in this in the sport. When I train, I try to train like a beast. When I when I organize something, I try to organize it great. And you know, anything I do, I try to do it in the best way that that I can. Yo, Gorillas, and welcome to the next episode of the Athlete Insider Podcast by Gore Nation. My name is Phil, and today I am with a special Spanish guy, an athlete, a content creator, an event organizer, an influencer, and I'm really happy to have you here, John Bioco from Madrid, Spain. Thank you so much, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here. Like you're, you're a person who has like a lot of influence and who gives like a lot of power and energy into the sport calisthenics. And uh, you're doing a great job with uh, like building one of the biggest uh, event series in the sport and uh, like influencing the, mostly the Spanish speaking uh, community. So, yeah, I'm really happy to have you here to talk a little about your workout, about your life, about uh, the Street Workout Ultimate Battles, the, the event. So, yeah, uh, just let's just hop into the first question. Um, you're on a birthday party and I know you yesterday you were on a birthday party and somebody comes towards you you don't know this person and the person asks you hey Jordan what do you do like what well, who are you <laughs> but okay I, I'm Jordan Biago I'm 28 I'm going I'm, I'm going to have 28 this month okay uh, I started training calisthenics uh, 10 years ago in 2010 um, I'm a calisthenic athlete. I'm a content creator. I have a YouTube channel where, where I want to show the community the, my lifestyle about calisthenics, how calisthenics can help people, not only about the physique, about the mentality of the people, you know. And also we create a, um, events like the Ultimate Battles. That's the way we found that we can spread the message or the... the The, the, the motivation of, of, of and the message of the calisthenics to all, all the Spanish community. And that, 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 that's what, what I do. I'm a, I train, I organize I, uh, competitions, and I, I create content for, for, for digital platforms. Nice. And you, uh, like, uh, what do you, do you study next to it, or do you work, or what, what is your, like, where do you live from, let's say? Uh, I, 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 I studied in the university. I, I finished my, my, my studies. I, I have a, a, a degree in uh, financial and accounting. Ah, oh, nice. And also later I, do a, I did an MBA in, in, in management. But um, nowadays I, I, I have a part time working for other companies for, 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 for what I studied and the other time doing my my um, projects inside uh, to, to the calisthenics community. Okay. So like uh, part-time, the financial part, like the studies part and part-time your passion, like uh, calisthenics, yeah. or how you call it, calisthenia, uh, because in, in Spain it's calisthenia, right? Yeah, in Spain it's calisthenia, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, uh, okay, nice. And um, like, how did you get in touch with calisthenics? You say you, you started in 2010, so it's already yeah. a long, long time. Uh, and uh, do, you, do you still remember how you got in touch with calisthenics yeah bro uh, it was on in in, in sum, summer of 2020 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, i just finished the i don't know if uh, it's like selectivity in your your country when you finish the 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 second the second mm -hmm. the high school and yeah. before you enter to the university you have to do some sums and sums yeah. to, for the qualification uh, i finished the selectivity selectividad in spanish And that summer, we don't have any plan. We didn't have any plan and anything to do. And I remember that one of my friends told me that, bro, I saw uh, a few guys doing some, some shit, so, some, some <laughs> dope things in one park, bro. Let's, let, let's go with them. Let's try what, what they do. We go there. We, see peop we saw people doing muscle ups, uh, explosive uh, pull ups. Uh, And we, we say, what the fuck? What is this? I want to try. You know, I, I want to try. Yeah. Bro, I, I, I tried to do one single push-up and, and I can't. <laughs> push-up? No, you, you weren't able to do No, 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 no push-up. Sorry, pull-up. Uh, pull-up, pull ah, pull okay. One pull-up, one pull-up. And the first day, 
I, I didn't uh, be able to, to do one, one single pull up. Wow. One, bro. One, bro. Wow. And, <laughs> and like it, everybody, it like, everybody who knows your videos and your strength today, like pull, you're so strong in pull. When you do muscle ups, yeah, you can go to the that, top. Yeah. That, 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 that's the, the, the key, bro. Now, now my strongest point is the, is the pull. The pull is, is, is obvious. But when I start, I, I, I didn't be able to, to, do, to do one single pull up, bro. Wow. And how did and you start then? Because the, 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 the community of that guys was very, very healthy. The calisthenics, they have a great community. They, they introduced me to the, to the other people. They always try to help me to improve, to show me new, new tricks or new, give me new keys to try to organize my workouts and try to focus on the goal, what I want to have, you know? And I, I receive a lot of help of, of, of that guys. And that's why I um, start uh, improving and start, uh, have, start having more strength or more, more, more power to, to do all the other things. Okay. So like uh, maybe it's also a motivation for you today to give back because uh, in the early days you received a lot of help from other people who were more experienced. And today you do it, you are the, the person who gives to the people on YouTube with the event, etc. That is, is that, bro, is that, bro. Because um, I, I think uh, this sport has to, to grow more. Uh, and the key is that people that have more experience or more knowledge try to spread them with all the new people and try to make bigger the community. That's why I... I I create a YouTube channel and I, I create content in, in Instagram, for example. Okay. So like for everybody who can speak Spanish, um, you should definitely check out uh, like Jordan's YouTube because you do like a lot of challenges, you do tests, you know, you do a lot of stuff like interviews also. Um, yeah. Like you also do a Spanish interviews. So um, yeah, it's, that's really, really nice. And you're quite successful with it. You have like, over 100,000 subscribers uh, on YouTube and on Instagram. So yeah, um, definitely check that out. Everything's in the description. Um, but yeah, like, um, so y you weren't able to do one pull up. They gave yeah. a lot of advice to you, uh, but how did you start to work out? Like, uh, did you tr start with elastic bands or did you jump and do negatives or how, how were you able to b build such a pull strength? Uh, I, I start with uh, with jump and do nail tips and try to um, uh, take the pull up and part the pull up in in, in little um, areas. Yeah. Try to to get stronger the scapula. Try to get stronger the muscles that involve the pull up in in, in complete. Because in in that in that time we 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 didn't train with with bands for example. It mm -hmm. didn't. Uh, they they there wasn't something normal like, like nowadays that people can train a uh, band with band with a lot of um, uh, issues for, for the workout. And it was with, with a negative uh, and, and specific uh, movement to, to make stronger the muscles that's involved in the, in the pull up. Okay. So like w with areas, you mean, uh, for example, also like the, the down part to uh, strengthen the scapula, but then, then also work on the, the, um, the like a lot of people divide the pull-up into three steps. The, the bottom, where you have to have a strong scapula to be able to do the first few centimeters. Then the middle, like uh, where the combination of uh, biceps, latissimus, et cetera, happens. And then the top, where like it's totally, totally different strengths. So you started like, like this, or do I understand it wrong? Like that, it's, 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 it's similar like that. And train also the, the, the centric power mm -hmm. to try to hold and get more stronger, that in hold the, 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 the pull up in, in 90 degrees. That helped me too a lot. Okay, and uh, like after, after what time did you see some results? Like how long did you take to do your first pull up or your first muscle up? Uh, the first pull up or the first clean pull up, um, like uh, two months, one, one, one month, two months, training hard, training seriously. And uh, the first muscle up, it takes me to like uh, five months, six months. 
Okay. But it, it wasn't clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess everybody who started like years ago, no muscle up was clean in the beginning. Like, uh... yeah, bro, it, it, that, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> the example of muscle up. <laughs> yeah. did, did you start with a uh, chicken wing or did you like, like just start with a lot of kick with muscle ups? With a lot of kick. Yeah, be, with a, a lot of kick. Because one of my friends in, in, that, in that time, uh, it was the 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 one of the greatest athletes here in Spain, mm -hmm. and always I focus in in him when I when I want to train when I want to um, try to 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 be better in any any area, and he has a, 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 the mind and he repeat itself that it not matter the the quantity the uh, it is the quality the quality is the movement okay, okay? if it takes you more months. No problem, but try to do it the the best, the, in the better way. And he, and and he said me that don't do this, never, bro, never. Try to uh, uh, be stronger in in your pool. Be, try to do a lot of lifts. And in the moment that you want to try the muscle up, feel stronger. Even don't don't worry if you do a lot of kick, but always um the two hands. At the, at the same time okay nice um so like um and i when i when i uh, a few days ago i checked your uh, your battle against uh, sergio with uh, from baristi like the the uh, the bar battle um yeah that was really interesting to see because it's already like a few years ago uh but your strength is already insane and uh <laughs> What what I uh, like really respect about you is that you work hard, that you like uh, do the events. You know, you you're doing a lot, but you still are like improving yourself, and you're still still training for yourself really hard. Um, and uh, like, how is it possible to do so much to to work like like this, but also to to improve as an athlete? Is 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 the passion you have, bro? It's simply is is I I. Calisthenics for me is my lifestyle. It's, it's my passion. It's, it's like for others, I don't know, football, uh, I don't know for, for other people what, what, what is their passion. But calisthenics is mine. And I, I know that I want to I, I wanna try to give my best in anything that I do in this, in this, in this sport. When I train, I try to train like a beast. When I, when I organize something, I try to organize it great. And, you know, anything I do, I try to do it in the best way that, that I can. Okay, so you never do like 80% or 50% power on a project, but if you do something, you do it with 100% and you do it well. That is that, bro, because if, if you try to do a lot of things, but not give the same percent in anything, you basically don't um, progress, don't, uh, don't uh, I don't know, you don't um, have... Uh, yeah, you don't have the progress that you can have in, 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 if you give you the same percent uh, in anything you do. Yeah, that's true. And currently you're working on your full plan, planche, right? Yeah, bro. How is the, how is the journey of your planche? Uh, I train uh, my, the planche um, three days uh, a week, okay? One day is the, the same percent. What is the day when you try to do whole press anything yeah mm -hmm. combos you know the other day uh, is uh, only um uh, reps reps focused on planche mm -hmm. like limb planche uh, progressions training with elast elastic bands mm -hmm. and etc okay and the other day is try to uh, uh, do mobility for the uh, for the for the areas that involve in the planche and try to recover the 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 train that this that areas reside and the, i i train plants three days a week but okay. in different levels and also i have one of my friends then he has a a, 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 a crazy plant bro the perfect mm -hmm. form he hold like a 15 seconds or, or 20 seconds it's like bro what the fuck i want to do that too yeah. He motivates so, me a lot. Okay. 
and uh, you also get advice from from him and how he achieved to to train it and you like you got some workout advice from him for the for your planning yeah bro yeah yeah because uh, when he wanted to train for, for example when he wanted to train reps he asked me because i have more level in reps for example weighted reps and when i want to train plants that is one trick that i i, I didn't have at the same level as, as him i asked him bro how, how you how you organize your week training this 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 movement and he gave me advice and tell me this that or try to do these reps this is more efficient than all this other one and i received the the the, the mention from him okay because that's something that i see for a lot of professional like high or high level athletes that they are not afraid to ask other people who are more advanced than they are because um they like they want to learn like uh, if they don't have the ego to say yeah i'm i'm like also an experienced athlete i don't have to ask him but they are really they put their ego down and they ask another person like how can i how do you, did you achieve to learn the planche i would like to improve and like have a planche like you and um that's that's great to hear that you, he asks you for for reps and for uh, advice for his uh, reps and uh, sets and reps workout and you can ask him for plant advice because uh, you you both have have your strength in other areas yeah bro th that that's the that's the idea because nobody know everything about ev uh, 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 everything basically you 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 still learning every day and that's is is stupid if you have a lot of ego and don't ask other one about how to help you to improve basically yeah that's it That's crazy. Um, and I would be interested in, because for the uh, SWUB, for the Street Workout Ultimate Battles, you also you are also in, in touch and in contact with a lot of professional athletes, like the high, highest level athletes. Um, yeah. What, what uh, habits, what, um, like, uh, how do they, what do they have in common? Like, what habits do they have? What uh, similarities you see between professional athletes that they have? And that they do every day because that, that are the reason why they are on such a high level. I can say that they have a, a similar the the, the, the patient of, 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 of compete basically, the patient of compete and the patient of give their best in uh, in in this sport. Even if you are the two time world champion or you are the national champion of your country, uh, you have in similar. The, the patient you put in your workouts, the patient you put in, in the in the in the in the in the competitions and the idea to try to be better in each competition. That's the I think that's the 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 issue they have in common. Okay. So like the passion over everything. Um yeah. And you said you train for planche three times a week. Um, do you have like, uh, how, how, how often do you train overall per week? I, uh, I, per week I train five days. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one train, as I, as I told you, uh, full, full planche, 10% uh, uh, planche, like a Maltese, full planche, straddle planche, but push planche, okay? Other day, 10% uh, in reps reps weighted reps in my in my in my, in my case other day in training i train a uh, planche but uh, hold not planche of, of of like front lever victorian the other planche not not push planche okay okay and the other day i am um, uh, do uh, like uh, 60% of of full planche straddle planche not the same percent mm -hmm. like a 50 50 50 60 percent of the of the of the train and the other plan like the same 50 60 percent of a form form level of, uh, victorian progressions of that kind of punch and i that's the the five days i train per, per week okay well, uh, in the beginning i didn't understand like when you say cent percent you mean 100 percent like uh, all in is it that what yeah. you mean ah, okay yeah so the first days 100% all in, uh, like the, the, for example, the uh, reps planche day, the, the push day, uh, the first one. Okay, get it. Uh, okay. 
Um, and what are the, the next goals for you, like as an athlete, uh, next to the full planche, what, what are the goals of a, of a Jordan Bioko? Bro, my goals this year was uh, try to, to, to do 100 kilogram pull up mm -hmm. uh, before the quarantine. The, the, the fucking COVID fucked me up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 100 uh, kilogram pull up and, and 50, 50 uh, kilograms in muscle up. Wow. Because uh, my. my 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 marks was uh, 90 90 kilograms in in pull up i did it in in, in march wow and i had a great progression but i have to i had to stop because we 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 was in quarantine two months without i i don't have bar in my in my house i can't hang in in a bar during two months yeah. and now now i return to my workouts and i feel heavy i feel yeah. it's, it's not the same my goals my goal this year is trying to achieve achieve that 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 one one hundred pull up and fifty uh, kilograms uh, in 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 muscle try to 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 have a try try to 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 can look but face by face to to body bro in muscle okay. I, I i speak with him a lot of time bro i have to do that fucking muscle up like like you fifty kilogram bro one muscle up what the fuck yeah. that guy's amazing <laughs> that's really insane like and the the interesting part is it, it it developed so fast over the years like a few years ago it was crazy when you did like a 20 kilo muscle up it was crazy like and to, it it developed so fast it's insane yeah bro that's my goal this year i want to try to to do it and or not i don't know if this year i'm gonna be able to do it because of the COVID, the, the training, the gyms, I don't know how it's going to work the, the last part of the year. But it's, it's my, my, my next goal. Try to achieve the, that one. Okay. So you're more into weighted and into one rep max right now than in endurance or do you do both at the same time? I'm a focused in, in weighted in this moment. I... I, I Sometimes I do endurance, okay? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't do, I don't do ten percent weighted and zero percent endurance. I try to combine both, but I don't, I do more, more weighted. I want to okay. be stronger in power, bro. In, in <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, nice. Um, what I'm interested in is um, like you are working in a lot of areas and. Until now, yeah. what was the biggest success in, in your career, in your calisthenics career? What was the, or the best moment? Like, what was the best moment um, in, the, in, in your work with calisthenics? As an athlete or as a... We can make the, the, the separation as an athlete, but I would also be interested in, in, in as an event organizer. Okay, as an athlete, I think my, my biggest success is in, in 2015. It was uh, 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 the, I, I win the, the the regional championship of of, of of my my community, and then I qualify to to the national champ, and uh, I finish in the third position. I compete with uh, all the national athletes here in Spain, and it was great because it's the first time that I I saw that I have a great level. I I improve myself, uh, and, and it was amazing, bro. And at the, that, that, that same year, uh, I compete too in the international champ here in Spain with uh, national athletes and international ones that come to uh, Madrid to compete in, to qualify to the super final, I think, because oh. the international champ qualified to the super final. And then I finished in fourth position, but I, 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 I finished happy. I finished, I finished good because I, com I could compare my level to the, greatest athletes in Spanish and international ones. And I, and I saw that I, 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 I was good in good level. I was, I, 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 I developed, I, I have a growth. And in Spain to make the third place in the nationals, that's like a big, big success because uh, in Spain you have some crazy, yeah, crazy bro, athletes. Yeah, yeah, in <laughs> Spain, the level was the same, bro. In that year too, they were, they were Athlete like Sergio, like Aristo, it, it was insane, bro. Yeah, in crazy level here. 
so back then you focused on on freestyle like it was uh, it was a freestyle competition um, yeah it was a, yeah a little, a little freestyle yeah, like um, the, the 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 same like now it's statics dynamics yeah. the same the same the same yeah. and you're also like capable of doing uh, like dynamics I, I think i never saw you doing uh, dynamics a little bit, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> a little bit, bro. I, I'm not uh, complete. I'm not complete, bro. I, uh, I, I prefer doing statics than dynamics. But I know that when you are competing, you have to try to uh, um, have a, a great level in both areas because you have judge for each area. And if you focus only in static, you have to be like Andrea Laros or like Victor Kaminov. Uh, crazy level in in, in the statics to to win so, something, you know. Yeah. And and yeah, I I I I train uh, dynamics not a lot. I train a lot of time with my bro Sergio. Sergio pushes me a lot. Yeah. To bro, jump, jump, do this. Don't don't have a fear. <laughs> do this. Try it. Try it. Try it. And 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 that's why I train. I start training and uh, dynamic because of Sergio <laughs> basically. Crazy. So it's your other friend who tell who's like your mentor in, in planche, Sergio, your mentor in dynamics. So you have a good surrounding around yourself. You yeah, bro. I, I, I'm a lucky person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Nice. So um like what what are what are the habits that you have what what is something that you do every day like uh do you like for example some people they wake up they drink something like water what what are the habits that you do every day the habits um i i have a, like a, i don't i don't know if it, if if it, if it's healthy or not um one hour per day i disconnect my phone I disconnect to to internet. I only put my my earphones and listen music and think about what I want to do, what and when I want to archive or when I, what goals I want to have uh, do in next month, next year, where I want to where where I want to be in the following year, and only that one hour a day and in my bed, lay in my bed, listening music and thinking about what is going to be about. Uh, for Jordan Bioko next year, next next month, t tomorrow. Wow, every day one one hour. Yeah. That's crazy. That's like medi medi like meditation for you. Yeah, b before sleeping at night. Okay. That's that's really because yeah, it, it it helps your sleep quality, right? Also. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and it it help, it, it help me mentality too to to have my idea clear to to think about. Because sometimes we we didn't stop and think about where am I now, where I wanna where I wanna do, where it, I, I'm in the correct way. I really want this. What are you, I'm doing now, you know, and try to think about what I'm doing, what I wanna do, and if I'm I'm, I'm in the right way, I'm in the wrong way. What I wanna change. Okay. Wow, that's a that's a good one. Um, yeah. Because I guess for a lot of people, it's really difficult to turn off their phone or put it in flight mode uh, and not be able to uh, like text and respond to everything really fast. So yeah, it's it's definitely something that uh, every everyone should should try out and uh, test. Yeah. Um, SWUB um, this year is like a total uh mess also for you like uh, i can totally understand that i don't want to get too deep in it because it's uh yeah not not a good situation but let's uh, look into the next years like what are your goals uh, with with the event series what uh what is the what are your plans because i know that you have big plans that uh, you want to make it even bigger even though like for the people who don't know i'm pretty sure everybody once saw a video of a battle uh, of the SWUB, like the, the the video footage is crazy. They are everywhere on YouTube. Uh, like even in Germany, I see a lot of people, big YouTubers, reacting to the videos. Uh, and uh, like you did a great job. Like it's insane. Like the connections with the good athletes you have, uh, the, the the event that you're building. And I would be interested in what are your goals for the next years. Like let's say, where do you see um, SWUB in three years? Okay, next year we, we, we are going to do the the full edition of the, of the Steel Workout Me Battles. I think in, in the same date, like in June, 
it, it uh, now today I, I, I can assure you that it's going to be a same percent as in June, but I think it's going to be in the same date uh, as 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 every year. Next year too, I want to I want to I want to do one new project project. Um, it's a it's a it's a championship too, but focus here in in reps, bro. Something new in reps. I want to do more. I want to give more visibility that area of calisthenics because uh, I know freestyle is 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 the most attractive area because it's it's like the dynamic, explosive. It's it's more visual. But I think reps have a, a lot, a lot, a lot of community behind. A lot of people that want to show that want to see something new in reps a lot of people that train every day in reps and and i think that it can be the key to be, to, to to do bigger the the community of calisthenics because for example my my, my, my father my uncle that they have uh, uh, 45 years or 50 years they are they are not going to do a 360. they are not going to have interest in that kind of competition but in reps, it's, it's all the thing. It's, it's all the community. It's, 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 it's a bigger um, community. It, that's why I want to do something new in, 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 in reps, in reps area. I can tell you a lot of details. <laughs> I don't know in, in, in during the year where, I want, where I'm going to do it. Uh, I try to do it in Madrid or in Barcelona. I'm not sure what of, the, of, of both. But in one of them, because they are the two biggest cities of, of Spain and the, the community, you know, the flights is more easy when you are in a big city. And is that it's two workout to me bottles, one competition of, uh, of reps and, and try to the next year, not, I don't know, but in the other year, try to bring something new too in, in, in that involve the, the Asian community and the African community. Okay. I try to join them the, in the in the calisthenics. Uh, uh, I don't know the 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 word. Um, in Spanish is uh, circulo in the in the. Yeah, world because, or circle, like yeah. In the the circle, yeah. yeah. Because traditionally the competition was uh, in Europe. Uh, or now now in, with the two workout me battles, we have a lot uh, Latin America athletes too, but. African athletes, they, they, in Africa, we, we have a lot of people with a great uh, level, with a, a, a great ambition that want to show the world what they, what they are able to do in Asia, in Asia too. Bro. In Asia, we, we know uh, that Malaysian guys are, uh, have a great level, yeah. but we don't know much more about Asia, Asian athletes. And every day, they, they, they send me a DM to, to Instagram, bro, we want to compete this two to go to me, but you, you saw them, you, was, you look like, wow, what the fuck, we, they have a great level, what? they are having the top. But the people, did they know them? The people know the athlete of, of, of Spain, the athlete of, of Italia, the athlete of Bulgaria, of uh, uh, Latvia, like Lythans, Victor Allende, the greatest ones, the, the sa- and, and, and every year, the same countries, like uh, one and other and other and, and, and I think that it's going it, it, it is very difficult for these new countries to join in the circle and to have the visibility they, they deserve mm-hmm. okay so internationalize and give more communities more countries access to the this worldwide community that you're building and uh, to the to the circle as you call it um, yeah that's it's great that's uh, true. Um, yeah, because like from Africa, I, I just think about Africa. Like, like uh, I just see uh, a lot of North Africa, uh, like Morocco, Tunisia, but I don't see so much like from I don't know Senegal. From but they are they, they are bro. They they they, they reach us in to because they, they want to compete in the, in the ultimate battle for example. And guys from uh, South Africa, guys from Nigeria, guys from all that countries that train in 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 other conditions because they, they didn't have the 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 calisthenic part that we have here they didn't have this the same the, the same um, uh, conditions basically to, to train but they have a, a, a crazy level and they want to do something that 
uh, have the community in the, in the, in the countries. And maybe also these are the people, sometimes on Instagram, there's a video that goes viral. It's like a shaky camera, completely dark. And then there are some kids doing 900s and like crazy, crazy stuff yeah. with a mattress. Yeah, it's like, that, it's that, that was that. And it's a great goal to give access to these people, to this uh, guys also competing at the Street Workout Ultimate Battles or like making it bigger and more international. That's, that's great. I, I like it. Thank you, bro. That's the idea of, of the champ. Nice. Um, so, um, yes. What what advice do you give to someone like in in calisthenics right now? What what is the mistake that you see a lot of people doing calisthenics? I I think uh, uh, nowadays, bro, uh, the 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 identity of 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 yourself. That's the, the biggest mistake that I saw uh, uh, in the new people that join in calisthenics. Because uh, when, you, when you are new, you, you saw what, what is viral, what's popular. You try to repeat the same one, try to, to do the same, to have that visibility. And, and the problem is that we are going to, the way of everything is look similar. There are, no, there are a few little things different. You know, and a few years ago, each athlete had has his his uh, own own style. Yeah. One prefer dancing the bar, the other one prefer doing I don't know, bro, different styles. But now you you saw a champ, you you saw a championship, and all of them look like the same way. All of them do the same the the this, the, the same movement with the same attitude with. They they look like a clones. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not bad, bro. But athletes like uh, like Lysans, for example, they have their own style. Athletes like Sergio, for, for example, they, he has his own style. You know, like Eric, he has his his own style. But the key is, is try to be a best, the, a beast, bro. Try to have a great level in dynamic, high grade, a, a great level in, in static but with your style, with your attitude, when you are competing, when you are sharing what, 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 you, are, what, what you, you, you are able to do. The, the identity, your own identity, is, is the, the biggest problem that I saw in calisthenics with the new people that joined, because all the, all the kids, when it looks like this guy or this other guy, Okay, so for everybody listening, uh, if you want to like uh, bring this sport forward and to grow as a, as a person also and, and as an athlete, that you should do your own thing, that you should have your own identity and not like copy uh, other people, but be proud of who you are. Yeah, bro, you can be inspired by other ones. Yeah. Of, of course, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's normal. But try to... To, to, to do things by yourself. Yeah. So you think it's not smart for me to have like a haircut like you afterwards? Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that can be funny. That can be funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yeah, perfect. Um, we're coming to an end. Um, I still have some, some short questions for you. Uh, what do you prefer, pizza or burger? Pizza, bro. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah, do you even pe pizza. eat pizza? Like when you see your physique, it's crazy. Like I don't know how 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 is it possible to look like you? Like because I I train a lot, bro. I now I I run uh, three days per week. Uh, you like, you uh, do cardio? You run? Yeah. Okay. I I I run. I run three three days per week. And I, I train a lot with, with weighted rep, not weighted reps, with I, I, different kind of workouts. I train a lot. I try to eat at home a lot of times. I, I, don't, I, I didn't do diet, but I try to eat clean at home and like uh, the, the, the normal food. Okay. And, and also sometimes I, I eat uh, pizza or something like that when I'm, when I'm out with my friends or when I'm in a restaurant i try to to not to not eat but a lot of times okay 
so yeah mostly eating clean but uh, sometimes you still cheat uh, but just keep it uh, yeah. in, in balance for, for example like yesterday we was we was eating pizza and nice. i and i and i eat th three 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 no two and half from family one the biggest one okay <laughs> you <laughs> ate two pizzas yourself yeah bro I, I, that, that that that's me that's me yeah okay yeah that's why you feel so heavy for for the muscle up maybe you're like <laughs> it can be bro it can be the reason <laughs> nice uh do you prefer dogs or cats dogs dogs okay and uh what, what was the best location you've been at so far what was the best country the best city the best city Mm, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, when I was, you, you say, no? yeah. I think it, it, in in Canary Islands here in Spain, is is the best place to to <laughs> to, to, to live, bro. Okay. You have a tropical um, atmosphere, like twenty five degrees all the year. It's 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 insane, bro. You you are in the island. You have a beach. You have a, a, a workout calisthenics park inside the beach you have a, a lot of train a, a lot of areas to, to do sports and the people the people don't matter for, about if you are training without t-shirt in the in the park or not it's okay the weather the weather is perfect to to to, to be there bro the weather to train calisthenics perfect and nice. also i was in in other countries and in other cities but if if i have to choose one to move right now to live and try to do the same things that I do right uh, in this moment, I choose, I choose Canary Island. Nice. Nice. Um, what would change for you if social media just disappeared? No social media anymore. Um, the way to, 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 to communicate, to communicate with, with, with the people only because my, my economic uh, stability, uh, didn't depend on ten percent of, of uh, social media. It, it's true that I I I, I have a, a incomes of of the social media of YouTube of partners of Instagram and other ones, but I still have the same life, uh, training at the same level, try to do the the same the same things, and living in the, in the same country. I I don't I don't think that I'm gonna have a great a big change in my life okay nice um do you have a favorite calisthenics athlete i have a few bro if i i, I can i can't choose one yeah, okay i can't do you have a top I three or top five one. okay top five let, let, let's try <laughs> with uh, with top five i i i i can tell you the the order of, of them yeah okay i'm going to tell you five five athletes okay. that in my opinion uh, um, uh, give me a lot of motivation, or or or, or so yeah, a lot of motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, Anibal Fokin, mm -hmm. I think he's he's the the mentor of, of all this building of calisthenics, bro. Anibal Fokin, uh, <laughs> Buddy Molenik, Buddy Molenik is a beast, bro. He motivates me a lot with the uh, with the. Uh, with the workout, how one guy can have that endurance, that power, I, I, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, Eric Ortiz, the, the, the area of, of Eric, the athlete, everyone knows know him, but Eric, like the, the guy, well, it, it's an awesome person. It, it's, it's, it's like, bro, you are the, the, the in my opinion, the best calisthenics athlete ever, but you are humble, more humble than a lot of people that I know. It, 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 it's insane, that guy. Uh, 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 uh. Sergio, Sergio, Sergio Ordoña, yeah, from Spain. I think in, in, I, I saw in Sergio the, I, I tried to, 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 to explain this clearly. How uh, one guy can, uh, uh, stand up one another 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 time because if you remember when Sergio had had the battle against Daniel he, he broke his teeth yeah yeah 
not not a lot of people can 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 recover about that physically and mentality yeah you know you have to be one specific kind of person and have a a, a strong really strong mentality to go forward and Sergio Sergio represents all, all 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 that all how how a, a calisthenic how uh, how a, a, a athlete has to be trained try to 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 do your best don't don't matter if you you lose don't matter if you you break your feet don't matter if you you break your biceps one another another one another time and the last one and that is life as well okay. life hands is a it's is a it's, it's, it's incredible when you see life hands doing freestyle it's like a bro if he's if he's like a messy playing football <laughs> it's this guy born to 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 do this this, this fucking shit bro if he's he's amazing he's amazing it's That's amazing true. wow these are some some strong five uh, athletes and strong and yeah as you said not only the the athlete uh the the performance but also like awesome persons um also yeah uh, yeah um do you have a favorite book a favorite book uh i have one well, well not not one yeah it's it's one it's it's about um psychology mm -hmm. It's about psychology, how to 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 think in in difficult moments, how to uh, to to focus uh, your 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 ideas in in difficult moments. It's it's, it's, a, it's yeah, a psychologic uh, uh, area. It's in psychologic area. Okay. I I, I read it uh, three years ago. Okay. Do you have the title for the people interested in it? I I have to to look for it. <laughs> okay, then then uh, you can send me afterwards. I will put it in the description for the people interested okay, in. Okay. In it. Okay. 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 Nice. Um, the best calisthenics event you've ever been at. <laughs> the best calisthenics event. Uh, 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 depends. Um, I have two. But there are uh, uh, differences. Okay. The, the most motivational one where, where 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 I was is the King of the Bar, bro. I think the King of the Bar is the best calisthenics event ever. In motivation, in 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 the ambience, everything. The, the and it 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 helps to everyone to 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 grow up, to 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 to, to try to train stronger, try to to be better, to to be best athlete. And the the king of the bar of, of 2015 exactly, it was a fucking insane, 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 bro. And the other one is the still World Cup to the battles one, the first edition. First edition. That's it. The first edition in here in Spain, and bring something new, bring the, all that uh, crazy athlete to Spain, and all the atmosphere that involved the the, the event was, was was insane. Um, seeing and and are also competing, seeing Lightens flying, seeing Victor Camero doing plants, seeing Dan Rosenberg doing 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 combos, it was f fucking insane. It's like oh, this is the 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 the, 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 the biggest level of calisthenics. Yeah. And uh, like for the the king of the bar, was it in in uh, Cologne on the FIBO where in 2015? Yeah, it, it was in uh, in Germany. Yeah, okay. Because I think that we I, I saw you the first time there in 2015 uh, at the King of the Bar uh, in Cologne. Maybe, uh, maybe I, I I was there like a like a visit visit visiting the the, the competition. Okay. And, look, and, and the and the and the and the the event, it was insane. That King of the Bar was 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 insane, bro. And you took some inspiration for like some motivation for uh, Swedo got ultimate builds. Yeah, yeah. And and to tell the truth, uh, when I when we we thought about the idea to do some competition, we was thinking about the king of the bar because the, I don't know if the last king of the bar was in 2016, maybe. Yeah, 16 was the last one. 16, and 
yeah, we, we have a lot of competition around the world, but no one is the, the, the same feeling like, like the king of the bar. And we're trying to, re, to reply this in, new, in a new competition. That's why the, we thought about the, bro, let's do one uh, new competition about battles like the king of the bar, the, the, same, the same essence, the same, the same feelings, the same, the, the same, the same vision of, of the king of the bar and try to, to do it bigger. And you're doing good when I when I can tell you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and then the last question: dynamics or statics? Statics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> statics, statics, statics. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when people when people want to get in touch from you and ask you questions, how can they reach out to you? Where can they find you? In Instagram, for example, uh, my, my IG is, uh, is Jordan Bielko on Instagram. And then I, they can send me a DM and I'll try to, to, to reply them. Okay, nice. So we will put all the social media channels, also your YouTube channel in the description. And if you want to check it out, do that. Um, and before you can end the episode, Jordan, uh, I will say th thank you to everyone listening to this till the end because it's already like, uh, yeah, one, almost one hour. And I'm really, really grateful for everyone listening to this. Thanks for your time, Jordan, to take the time to be here to, uh, yeah, to do this English interview uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I really like your Spanish interviews, even though I don't understand anything. <laughs> 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 still really good so yeah i'm happy that uh, a lot of people do this uh, to learn from athletes as you say you learn from different athletes so you also offered the possibility to a lot of people to learn from you to learn about your plans journey to learn about your mindset your habits etc so yeah thanks for listening and uh, if you want to let this uh, series continue put down below who should be interviewed next, rate this episode, and I will say goodbye. See you next time. And Jordan, you can end the episode. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a big pleasure for me being here. And see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>